This is our packaging area, and we do everything from large size kegs. These are 58.6 liters. We also do 20 liter kegs and 30 liter kegs. The way the machine works, we have three different stations. First station here is actually a cleaner. It cleans it on the inside, gets rid of any kind of uh, contamination that might be in there. The second step is to sanitize that freshly cleaned keg. Um, that guarantees that we have a really clean, long shelf life for each of these kegs. The third station on this side is where we actually fill the beer inside the keg. That process is really quick. It takes only about 45 seconds to fill a 58 liter keg. So it's very, very quick. From there, it goes on, gets washed, flipped over, date coated, and sent to the back of the fridge for the guys to load up the next day. These are the newest addition to the cool product line. They're about three liters. Really convenient because they fit in your fridge. And the machine that we use to fill these is right over here. This is an incredible little piece of machinery. Kegs go in on this side, cleaned and sanitized, fed into this feeder here. Beer comes into this particular reservoir. We've programmed it so that it fills the right levels, right carbonation in a very clean way. Uh, they then make their way through the seamer and they're capped and then basically sent over here for final confirmation of weight, date coded and they're ready to ship to the fridge as well for next day delivery. This is our bottling line. It comes in basically two streams. So the bottles come in on this side on a skid, uh, usually about eight levels high, and this machine is called a depalletizer, and it basically removes one level of bottles at a time uh, as delicately as possible so that they're ready to be filled. Bottles are then conveyed over to this machine, a rinser sanitizer. So what it does is it removes any kind of a dust that would be in there, but it also sanitizes the bottles uh, to maintain a, a really good environment for the beer so it can have as much shelf life as possible. From there, the bottles are then brought over to the filling station, which is right over here. This machine works by what's called counter pressure. So there's beer inside the bowl, and it's maintained at a high pressure. And then the bottles are also filled at that same high pressure. And what that does is it makes sure that the carbon dioxide or CO2 in the beer is the exact same level as what you would want to taste. Once the bottles are filled, they get capped. This is a six head capper. Uh, the machine works quite quickly. It does almost 84 cases of beer in about 20 minutes, so it's quite quick. We have other machines that make sure that the uh, crowns are on snug. We have a really nice labeling machine. It's an amazing machine because it allows us to put on three labels onto a bottle at once. We can do a front label, a back label, and a neck label. We also do run pre-printed glass, like our Stonewall bottles uh, that you'll see later on. So once the bottles are labeled, we then go to this machine here, which is a uh, drop packer. So what that means is we take the bottles, they come in a single stream, we split them into a stream of four. You can either drop into four packs, six packs, or two fours. 